welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about integers, um, absolute values, and opposites. So to start us off, integer. An integer is just a number, a whole number, either positive or negative. So if I draw my number line here, my number line, of course, extends in both directions to infinity. And in the middle, or my starting point, I have the number 0. As I increase on my number line, as I go to the right, it's an increase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are my positive numbers. These are positive. And of course, I have positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can go the same, uh, I can do the same thing, but in the opposite direction, to the left here. As I go to the left, I can go to the left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are my negative numbers. So to the left of the number line, or less than 0, are my negative numbers. And of course, these are symbolized as negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. And so these are integers. Integers are simply just numbers that are either positive or negative. Now these numbers, of course, represent, as we learned in class, the distance from 0. So if we look at 1, 1 is simply just one hop from zero. So it's a distance of one from zero. Five, five is a distance of, well, you guessed it, five. Look at one, two, three, four, five. It has one, two, three, four, five hops from zero. And the same thing if I go to the left of zero, I can have negative two. Well, negative two is simply just how many spaces from zero? Two, one, two, two spaces from zero. But that negative represents movement to the left. So my positive integers are numbers to the right, the spaces from 0 to the right, and my negatives are that those spaces or that distance from 0 to the left. And if I want to talk about opposites, opposites are simply just, well, um, if I have 3, this is positive 3, it has an absolute value of, well, 1, 2, 3. Absolute value is simply just... Um, simply just the distance from 0. So 3 has an absolute value of 3. Negative 4. Well, if I want to find the opposite value, sorry, the absolute value, I have to look at, well, what is the distance of negative 4 from 0? It has a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4. It has an absolute value of 4. So I can say that the absolute value now these two lines represent absolute value the absolute value of negative 4 is of course 4 the absolute value of negative 3 remember absolute value means the distance from 0 so negative 3 is 1 2 3 it has a distance of 3 and the same thing with positives if I let's take 5 over here what is the absolute value of 5 Absolute value means a distance from 0, and 5 has a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 has a distance of 5. Okay? And this will help me with my opposites. Opposite talk about um, the same distance from 0, but the opposite direction. So if I want to find the opposite of 4, well, 4 has a distance of, of course, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, distance of 4 to the right. And so the opposite of 4 will be the same distance but in the other direction, the opposite direction. So I need a distance of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the opposite of 4 is negative 4. I can look at the other way too. Let's say uh, negative 6. What is the opposite of negative 6? Well, I need to know the absolute value, the distance, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But now I need to go in the opposite direction. So what is the opposite direction to the left? It is to the right. And how many do I go? I go 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the opposite of negative 6 is, of course, just 6. And this will work for any number. If I have, um, for instance, negative 15, well, what's the opposite of negative 15? Well, I need to have a distance of 15 in the opposite direction. So this is 15 spaces from 0 to the left. So the opposite is going to be 15 spaces from 0, but to the right. So the opposite is positive 15. And one more. Let's look at one more. How about 7? What is the opposite of 7? Well, this has a distance of 7. And since it's positive, it's 7 to the right. 
So the opposite is going to have a distance of 7, but this time to the left. So the opposite is negative 7. I hope that helps with integers, positive and negative numbers, absolute values, the distance from 0, and of course the uh, opposites, which is the same absolute values but in opposite directions.